Well, hello everyone. It's Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. Today is October 12th, 2015, and we're on Hilton Head Island near the beach in Palmetto Dunes at this large five bedroom beach oriented foreclosure listed for $1,275,500 with Exit Hilton Head Realty. I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with 40 years of Hilton Head Island real estate experience. We're gonna walk through this house, take a look at it, see if it could possibly be for you. And before we do, let's just take a look around the yard. It's a large one, 0.52 acres with a circular drive out here on C Lane near the intersection of Mooring Boy and C Lane as we go in the direction of the camera now towards the ocean the houses go up in price to the multi-millions on the beach of course so when you're back here fourth or fifth row the prices do fall this house again one million two hundred and seventy five thousand dollars with beautiful trees it has a private swimming pool there are four bedrooms downstairs, a uh, beautiful family room upstairs, beautiful master suite over the garage. This house has a um, very uh, lovely seashell finished driveway with the brick spacers throughout this paved area. Looking very, very good, very beachy. And we do have a wood sided house with, as you see, a second floor balcony with carriage lights, a two car garage. This house would be suitable for year round living as well as for vacation use. I think the primary uh, use for a buyer that I can imagine for this house would be as a second home vacation property with five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms. It has been completely renovated. Having been originally built in 1970, completely renovated, second floor deck, golf course view, well, let's go through it and see it. Again, my name, Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. And my company is Go Gated Realty. And I'm the Gated Community Specialist, ladies and gentlemen. Both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. Well, we have a lovely portico on this house front door is recessed and out of the weather. That's a full two-story foyer. You'll see when we go inside. And let's do that right now. We have four bedrooms on the first floor, but we'll come back down in just a moment. And the first floor, by the way, is both wood and carpet. The wood stairway takes us to the second floor. And like I said, this is a foreclosure. It is the only foreclosure in Palmetto Dunes today. And for those of you who are foreclosure finders or searchers, they are very few in number these days, ladies and gentlemen. We have had a magnificent recovery from the recession and prices are going up. As you can see, this is a very large home. Again, it has 4,276 square feet, large open kitchen with a contemporary floor plan, but traditional too because the reversed floor plan, uh, meaning that the bedrooms are on the first floor, with the exception of the primary bedroom on the second floor, well, that goes back, to my knowledge, to early American living like in Savannah where the bedrooms were on the ground floor and the living area on the upper floor with the odd idea that it was cooler on the first floor than on those upper floors. We're on the golf course here in Palmetto Dunes, not far from the ocean. This house has a very large second floor deck and again traditionally built 
we do have a barbecue area just off the dining area and kitchen. We'll see that again from inside. And then downstairs we have a swimming pool. We'll get a closer, with a spa, we'll get a closer look at that when we exit the house from the first floor and walk around. You do have a lagoon next to the house. So not only is this a large lot, but it does have a water feature, which continues under the bridge there where the golfers are just crossing as they approach the green. We do play golf and tennis year round here on Hilton Head Island as we have a semi-tropical climate. And these are vinyl clad casement windows. As I said, the house has been completely renovated. Beautiful carriage lights. And as it is a foreclosure, it is being maintained by the bank, but it is not in the vacation rental uh, market at this time. So, well, here's our large open kitchen. Clearly this is uh, uh, being uh, designed and, and intended for large family rental use. <laughs> you have a commercial grade Viking professional stainless steel refrigerator. That is a behemoth. And a corner pantry very well located. You have beautiful cabinets in this house, ladies and gentlemen. You have a double Viking oven. Your pantry is beautifully located in the corner here. Notice the uh, hardware, the uh, brushed metal egg-shaped knobs. Very stylish, beautiful panel doors throughout this house. Very high quality interior finishes, including the glazed finish on our cabinets. And the stone top, stainless steel bin, farmhouse plumbing fixture. Beautiful casement windows looking towards the ocean here palm trees, you're not far from the beach, just a few minutes walk. The backsplash is very contemporary with the subway tile. We have the wood floors that people want, the hand hewn or rough hewn floors, very, very popular these days. I would say this is probably the most popular color, that darker wood. And once again, a Viking gas range, or to be technical, it's a propane range with six burners. All of this open from the island to our dining area there to the right with a large cluster of beautiful casement windows. The door there going out to our back deck. The living area open to the dining and to the kitchen here with the fireplace looking very, very good. Over on this side of the kitchen, we do have a wrapped countertop, bringing us to a second sink. I guess you would call that a vegetable sink with a lovely casement window looking out into the woods. Lots of privacy in this house. Again, this house, ladies and gentlemen, a foreclosure listed at $1,275,500. We have a vaulted ceiling across the living room, and we have flat ceilings. Houses that were built back in the 70s, of course, would have had textured ceilings. This has been completely renovated. Beautiful woodworking. I see high, high baseboards. I see the, what's called today, called the cottage finish work inside, or the cottage woodworking with a lentil and top piece that people really like, they pay extra for that. Pocket doors, you just don't see that everywhere as we transition from this family area over to a sitting room or TV room with beautiful built-in cabinets. And the wood floor flows right through into this room. You see the high baseboards. With the, with the craftsman style, beautiful woodwork, 
This is what is called the cottage finishes in the newer homes. They call this the cottage package, so to speak, as opposed to uh, the more slick finished millwork that you see in so many homes. Nothing wrong with that. But this house is well um, fixed with ceiling fans, 52 inch ceiling fans. I see that there is a surround sound system in this room. So this was clearly intended as a media room, kind of a family room. And I guess that we could call this the living room over this way. I think plenty big enough for most any kind of a family or corporate gathering. That fireplace won't get much use, <laughs> my friends. Uh, our climate here only would call for burning a fire in a fireplace like that uh, a few nights every winter. But some people like that, and it's a beauty. It looks like that also is a propane fireplace there. Well, your primary bedroom is here on this second floor. We have um, a half bath here as we approach the master bedroom with a granite top, beautiful country style cabinet. The wood floor flows right on in here, framed mirror. This is all very contemporary, ladies and gentlemen, very contemporary. If you were to build this house today, you'd finish it much the same way, I think. It has the colors that people want. And here we are into our primary bedroom. The master bathroom is just off here to the right. We'll go in there in just a moment. And take a look at that, it's a beauty. And first, let's just take a look at this absolutely outstanding primary bedroom with the uh, completely wooded beadboard ceiling. Wow, this is big, this is fantastic. We have a trio of windows to the left and a trio at the back. Get a look at this beautiful yard. And you can see now the circular driveway. This is a place for big get togethers at the beach in Palmetto Dunes. If you're not familiar with Palmetto Dunes, Palmetto Dunes and Sea Pines are the kind of the granddaddies of the Hilton Head uh, Island vacation world, kind of like the Coke and Pepsi, Ford and Chevy, if you will of the vacation world on Hilton Head Island. They're the two biggies. And many people like Palmetto Dunes and many people prefer Sea Pines. I never know until I meet with the, the buyer. Well, we have two walk-in closets here. So this is more than you need for uh, vacation rental, but for extended stays or for primary living, this is clearly set up for that with uh, a closet here for him and another one over here for her or vice versa with some built-in cabinetry really looking good we have a Berber carpet which is new this house having been fully renovated this is a beautiful bathroom ladies and gentlemen we start with a porcelain or ceramic floor which looks like limestone we have the same cabinets that we saw in the kitchen, the high quality cabinets. We have a stone top, dual vanities, and that is a, uh, a marble, I believe. A marble top, possibly limestone, but I believe it's marble with the undermounted porcelain sink. Again, the traditional bath hardware. We have the center recessed for a dressing table and another well-sized lavatory. Our jetted tub at the end of the bathroom. This is a beautiful bathroom. Really lots of beautiful detail here. Jetted tub with the uh, same stone deck. Window for light. Let's take a look at this beautiful walk-in shower. This is a beautiful bathroom. First off, we start with a frameless door looking outstanding. And we have a beautiful tiled bathroom here, a beautiful tiled shower, not just up the walls, ladies and gentlemen, but across the ceiling. Yabba dabba do, we've got a rain head there. Boy, if you can't get clean in this bathroom, I'll tell you what. 
<laughs> and a bench down at the end. We have a second nozzle over here. Wow. This is a shower. This is a shower. Beautiful tile diagonal. We've got the subway pattern above. <laughs> this is great. I love it. I love it. Well, I, I'm, I love beauty. You know, I'm a former South Carolina licensed home builder and I have to linger over beautiful work because I don't always see it, but when I do, it turns me on. And I think it turns you on because I think that everybody loves a beautiful house and especially if you're going to pay a million two seventy five you want to get your money's worth well I think it's here for you in this house ladies and gentlemen this is your primary bathroom sometimes called the master bathroom this is a very large bathroom very large bedroom just a magnificent suite with that kind of beachy country feel to it at the same time and of course the uh, very clear amount of luxury through the double doors we go into this little sitting area the privacy jog back to our main living area and these beautiful wood floors throughout what a house what a house well let's go downstairs and take a look at the four bedrooms which are down here for us and we'll just go as they come up and present themselves beautiful room here we're on concrete slab ladies and gentlemen so the floor is very solid beneath our feet this room has a walk-in closet and its own private bathroom. You're going to see each of these downstairs bedrooms have their own bathrooms. This one just with the shower, the tile work coming right on up to the ceiling and beautiful vanity behind the door here. I'll close the door so we can see. We have now kind of a tan cabinet with different types of pools. We still have the glazing high quality throughout the granite top with the undermounted sink, beautiful framed mirror. We're going to see this quality in every bathroom down here on the first floor, ladies and gentlemen. High quality throughout. You'll see that in many homes, especially when they're on a budget, you'll see those second or third bathrooms switch to different materials like vinyl floors or uh, maybe uh, fiberglass fireplace, <laughs> I don't mean that, fiberglass uh, tub and shower. Uh, not in this house. This house has got it going. It's got it going right on through. Well, here's our third uh, bedroom, depending on how you're counting. All the colors are just right, soft, beautiful tile work in this bathroom too. And we have once again, another beautiful vanity. They've even varied the styles. Beautiful stone top that looks like limestone to me. And we have a tile floor here. This being our third bedroom. And it too has a private or a walk-in closet. And a second auxiliary closet back in there that has some uh, electrical panels and so forth, but good storage, I guess you could say, possibly an owner's closet. And as we exit this room, we have a couple of interesting features. We have this little sink here to the side. I'm not really sure what that is, but it's for convenience, I guess. Our washer and dryer, that's probably meant to uh, assist the washer and dryer. This is where your washer and dryer closet is down here and that's not included but when you're spending a million two seventy five I don't think that's a big deal we seem to have a new air conditioner in this house because I noticed that your mechanical closet is here and that looks awfully new so it looks like we have a new AC system as part of our renovation lots of closets in this house and we have our third bedroom on the third on the first floor over here once again we have ceiling fans sliding door 
to the back. It's good to see the sun. Some of you may wonder about all those uh, disaster uh, stories that you saw on TV and in the news about South Carolina. Well, they're all true. Uh, they all occurred at Charleston and North uh, in the Midlands, the upstate of South Carolina. Down here in Hilton Head Island, many people would say we're blessed. We just are in what's called the South Atlantic Bight, which is the best place to avoid hurricanes, really the best place to avoid storms. We had no flooding here. We had a little bit of beach erosion. Had many people calling me to ask about it. Thank you very much for your concern, but we were very fortunate, I, I suppose, but it's very much related to the geography of the area. We just uh, are not prone to storms like the rest of the southeastern uh, United States. Uh, knock on wood, of course. Well, this is a beautiful bathroom here. Now, here we have some beautiful tile work. That may be real limestone. I think it is. If not, it's one heck of a good ceramic or porcelain. We've got a double vanity here with a limestone top. Undermounted sinks. Our commode is over here. It's very common to have your commode in a Hilton Head house in its own closet. We have that here. Absolutely beautiful bathroom. Once again, all new carpet in this renovated house. His and her closets. Stroll out to the pool directly right that away. And here we are back out to the main hallway and our final bedroom, also on the first floor. This is the smallest bedroom in the house. Still large by most standards, or adequate I guess you could say. And it too has a private bathroom. So what a uh, five-star accommodation this is when every bedroom in the house has its own bathroom. All tile, again, frameless shower. That's high quality, high cost, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful tile work, diagonal right up the wall. Colored grout matching, beautiful work, high quality. I like it, I like it very much. Well, what do you think? I would certainly uh, enjoy hearing from you about this house or your general real estate plans. It may be you're looking for something even closer to the beach and possibly more expensive, maybe smaller, maybe larger, let's just say different. Perhaps you're looking for something more economical. Well, I'm certainly here to help. As a buyer's agent, I'm simply showing this house to you as one of the options that is available to you but I'm here for you. I don't work for uh, Exit Realty. I don't work for the owner of this house. I work for you, ladies and gentlemen, with, of course, a uh, agreement, which is easy to make because I'm only paid at closing if you buy and if you close. The commission that I earn is already in the price of every listed property. So it doesn't cost you anything more to have a buyer's agent on your side. And of course, the commission that I earn is the, the commission that your agent earns, I guess I should say, is the same whether they have no experience in the area or if they have 40 years of experience, as I do. So I think it makes a no-brainer. It is a no-brainer to have a buyer's agent on your side. And, you know, there's so much information out there about communities and houses. My buyers are more educated and gather more information than ever before because, because of these mega sites like uh, Trulia, Zillow, Homes.com, Realtor.com. <clears throat> and I really like that. It makes my job a lot easier. But there's not that information. Not, not, <laughs> I know I can say this. I know there's not that much information out there about agents. So please keep me in mind. <clears throat> and as your buyer's agent, I can help you in many ways. Here's our propane tank right there, the top of the propane tank. And here's a little path that takes us down to the lagoon where we have a little dock. And there's only certain types of boats that are allowed here in the Palmetto Dunes lagoon system. It's 
12 or 13 miles of lagoons. You can canoe, you can kayak, you can have pontoon style boats. It's quite a nice feature to have. Quite a nice feature to have. Water is beautiful, look at this. Absolutely outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Well, I was telling you about Buyer's Agency and um, I would just invite you to call me. Let me give you my contact information. Uh, my cell number, 843-684-2933. 843-684-2933. And my email, rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D.com. And my website is gogated.com. Well, you can search all the properties in our local area, all the MLS properties at gogated.com on your own at any time. I certainly invite you to do that. But you know, I think what's better is to give me a call or send me an email. Let me know what you're looking for. Let's work together to find it, be it this year, next year, the longest time that anyone has ever taken from the time we started a conversation to when they bought has been 17 years. But please, don't be like that buyer. I know you can make up your mind faster than that. And I'm certainly here to help. So let me send you a list of all the properties that might work for you. There's no cost or obligation for that. It is the best way to monitor your personal real estate market, be it economy homes, vacation villas, second homes, retirement, Whatever your need, I'm here for you. Well, thank you for watching this video. This is a beautiful community, ladies and gentlemen. A uh, beautiful home, a foreclosure. The only one in Palmetto Dunes today, near the beach. 1BC Lane, 1,275,5. Five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms. Thank you for watching this video. It's been a real pleasure to show it to you today. Please call me. I look forward to meeting with you on the phone or by the internet whenever you are ready. Thank you again for watching. If you like this video, there are more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. Please subscribe. Thanks again.